Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Info Street. In today's video, we will explore the multicast palette function in SAP Integration Suite. Okay, so this multicast palette function enables you to send the same message to more than one receiver. This allows you to perform multiple operations on the same message in a single integration flow. Without multicast, you require separate integration process to perform different operations on the same incoming message. Okay, so in this video, we'll first take a look of the parallel multicast and after that we will be using the sequential multicast in our iFlow. So let's get started. So we will first create an iFlow. Let me just give a name. Okay, now open in editor. Okay, now let me connect the sender to the start message event. Here we will be using an HTTPS adapter. Let me now enter the details in the address. Okay. Okay, for this demo, we will be using this uh, XML as a source input. So as you can see here, we have the employee ID, name, department and salary. So now let me add one content modifier here. Let me rename it. Okay, now in the message header, I will create four headers for the employee ID, name, salary and department. Let me now just quickly fill these entries. Now we will be adding a parallel multicast. Okay, so this parallel multicast allows you to send the message to all target at once, which can significantly reduce the processing time. You can just add multiple endpoints that will receive the same message simultaneously. And each, uh, and each target can have its own processing logic, which is helpful when integrating with different systems. Okay, so for this particular branch one, we will be modifying the salary. Let's say we want five into five, uh, like this. Okay, so now let me just quickly add the content modifier here.
so as you can see here we will be calculating the salary so for this we will introduce a groovy script before the content modifier So what we are doing here is that first we are getting the header salary and changing its type to double then we are performing the calculation and again we are converting it back to string. Okay, click on OK. So this is the message body. Okay, now let me introduce another end message. Let me link them. For this also we will need an content modifier. For the second branch, we will be modifying the department. Now let me just quickly save it. And now let me deploy it. Okay, as you can see here, we have got our endpoint. Let me just copy it and now we will navigate to Postman. Okay, we will paste our URL here. So, as you can see here, we have got the response here. So, this is for the second one. Let me just navigate to message monitoring, go to message content. So as you can see here, we have got two end, end one and end two. End one is for the second branch. So these two branches are executed in parallel. Okay, now let me just go back to our integration flow. Now we will use the sequential multicast. So uh, in case of sequential multicast, you have an option to define the order in which the message can be executed. Okay, now let me just quickly connect it. Okay, so here you can see we have the routing sequence. Here you can define the order in which you want the message to be executed. Now let me change the sequence. Click on deploy.
okay so it is deployed now let me just quickly uh, go to postman let me clear the response first then we will click on send okay so as you see we got the response let me just navigate back to the monitor message processing click on trace then okay go to message content payload so as you can see here the branch 2 is to be executed first then after that the branch 1 will execute and the same sequence you can see here okay so that was all for this video to wrap things up the multicast palette function in sap integration suite is an essential tool for integrating multiple systems whether you choose parallel or sequential processing it provides flexibility to suit your integration needs thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to infostree channel for more tutorials and updates on sap integration suites and other tech topics Leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.